Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Luke Gordon, physical therapist, and I just made a video all about supraspinatus tendinosis with my lovely shoulder model here. And now I want to talk to you about infraspinatus tendinosis. So most commonly, um, you'll hear that term on an MRI. So you have an MRI of your shoulder because you've got some pain going down the outside or anywhere around there, and then you'll see things like supraspinatus tendinosis, tendinitis, um, or infraspinatus. So again, I just made the video all about supraspinatus, which is this lovely pink strip of tape that I put on my shoulder model here. Now we're going to talk about infraspinatus uh, tendinosis. So um, basically the, the description, the tendinosis is the same thing for either muscle. We're just talking about different muscles. So let's start with the anatomy of these muscles. So again, in the last video, supraspinatus is that muscle along the top of your shoulder blade. Infraspinatus is the muscle along the bottom of your shoulder blade. So if I orient you to the actual shoulder, this is actually a right shoulder. So you, you look at it on me like that. <clears throat> we have your shoulder blade here. We have your humerus or your arm here. And we have your collarbone coming out in front here. So again, if we flip that around, so you're looking at the back of the shoulder now, the most um, easy to identify landmark is this bony prominence along your shoulder blade, which we call the spine of your scapula. So if I reach back onto my shoulder blade here, I should be able to kind of palpate that. And you can feel that bony ridge along your shoulder blade. Now, again, if you look at the model, if you go above your, the ridge there, now we're on your supraspinatus. If you go below, which is this blue piece of tape, now we're on your infraspinatus. Those are two of your four rotator cuff muscles. So when you hear the term rotator cuff, rotator cuff uh, tendinitis, tendinosis, rotator cuff impingement, that's what we're talking about is the, that muscular group. So those are the two muscles that are most commonly involved with the rotator cuff, supraspinatus being the most commonly involved, uh, causing pain, having a rotator cuff tear or a tendinosis, and then infraspinatus being kind of the second you know, runner up there. So again, infraspinatus tendinosis, um, you might be able to feel it um, if you've got like a small tear or it's really inflamed. Again, you would just go below the spine of your scapula there and just palpate it. And again, if you have that, actually mine hurts right now because I was playing pickleball yesterday. So it's a good video to make today. Um, but again, if you have it on the MRI, what does it mean? So what does it mean to have an infraspinatus tendinosis? It basically just means that as you follow that muscle over to its insertion, which it would narrow here. So you know, forgive the piece of tape as my rudimentary, um, you know, model here, but the tendon would narrow as it attaches to your arm there. And so if you have a tendinosis, it just means there's been damage over time to the tendon that they can actually see on an MRI now. And so you'll see things like small tears there, and then you'll see scar tissue and thickening of the tendon too. So that's what it means to have a tendinosis. It's actual physical damage to the tendon. And again, with the thickening and the scar tissue that you can actually see on an MRI. And then the other big thing between a tendinosis and a tendinitis um, of any tendon is that with a tendinosis, you don't have very much blood supply anymore. Whereas with a tendinitis, it's an actively inflamed tendon. So you actually are getting blood flow. Your body's trying to heal it. With a tendinosis, you have to change your treatment strategy a little bit because um, you need to get more blood flow to the muscle and then ultimately you need to do what you can to um, get rid of the scar tissue and heal any of those small tears you can. So I'm gonna talk more about treatment of these things in coming videos, how to treat a tendinosis or treat a tendinitis, and we'll talk about what to do with that. But for now, just wanted to explain those terms so you know what you're dealing with. Um, so if you have any questions on infraspinatus tendinosis or tendinitis, let me know, leave it below the video, or supraspinatus versus infraspinatus. If you need any more clarification, let me know. Um, and and like I said, we'll get into some more videos about how to treat them and how to, how to determine, again, do you need an injection? Do you need physical therapy? Do you need a surgery? What's going to help um, and how to make those decisions? So look for those videos in the future. Um, and for now, thank you for watching. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, like the video if you can, and uh, please leave a question or comment below, and I'll keep making more videos on how to help you with your shoulder pain. That's it for today. Thanks again.